Hi, this is Carehart, and I have to tell you, I couldn't wait to share this information with you. And, and this is going to be insanely exciting. I mean, like, insanely exciting. So let me tell you, bam, 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 it's going to be really fast that I share. You ready? I'm, I'm sharing this. So I've been in touch with a lady, a fabulous lady, and she is showcasing um, in an art gallery, artists with disabilities. And so what you should be able to see on my screen right now, let me make sure that I have you up and live. Yes, I do. Okay. So this, let me make it all nice and big for you. It's the Philly Art Collective Gallery right? The location is in Philadelphia, but it's also online and there's still room for submissions in this art gallery. They've contacted us and just wait until you hear how exciting this is going to be. So when people go and they check in, the tickets to get inside to the gallery is $14 per ticket. If you want to view the gallery online, it's $7 per ticket. And as you can assume, it's showcasing artists with disabilities, which means nudge, nudge, submit your entries. I'll give you all that information in just a little bit, but it gets better. Wait, wait, wait. It does. It gets better. I'm this excited. Like, can you hold your breath? Hold your breath. Okay, I'm still that excited. Okay, so April 30th, May 1st, and May 2nd, the gallery will be open in person if you happen to be anywhere near, near Philadelphia. Okay. If you want to submit your work, you can actually submit it and make it available for sale. When you make it available for sale, you can submit six pieces max. The $300 price limit exists on the pieces you submit. And the link, I'll take you there in a minute. Hold your britches. You don't have to go there. It's www.artistswithdisabilitiestix.com. And that's where they can buy the tickets. Now, I'm going to take you to their webpage. And you're going to journey on this webpage with me because it's a beautiful webpage they've created. And this is the link that you can see um, in the description box below when the video plays. And I'm going to share this among the folks. And no, you do not have to be a hardest to be an entrant. Um, you can be anyone with any disability that is an artist. And don't question your talent. Submit your stuff and submit it with a price on what you would charge for your art. So Artists with Disabilities Showcase, it shows 2021, and you can buy your tickets here. And then you can see how the art, you know, gives you that feel when they're walking in the gallery. And look at this. This is my favorite flower. Isn't that awesome? Oh, my gosh. I was just talking to someone about this yesterday. All right, here we go. It's a beautiful website. And as you go past the paint that this person has in their paint jars, it shows you the Artist's Disability with Disability Showcase. Submit your art by April 16th. This is the link. This is the page where you submit your art, okay? And then you click on that button to submit here. We'll do that in just a minute. Hold your britches. And look, it's another beautiful flower. We're going to keep going. And then they say, our donation partner for every dollar of ticket sales Disabled Artist Foundation Inc. will buy items from our wish list. And I'll take you to this link too. And you can see that we do have a very active wish list. We check on it weekly. In fact, I just updated it last night. I did just get the news from the, the curator for this gallery. I did get the news of this about 20 minutes ago. So yes, that's why I'm still excited. So let me read the about for you. I am curating and hosting, not I care. This is another individual. I'm curating and hosting a showcase for artists with disabilities in the Philadelphia area. There will be a virtual option for any who are uncomfortable or unable to attend in person and an audio walkthrough for those with visual impairments. Submissions are due by April 16th. The show will be hosted at the Philadelphia Art Collective Gallery on April 30th, May 1st, and May 2nd from 5 to 10 p.m. All of the money raised from ticket sales will be donated to the Disabled Artists Foundation, Inc. That's us. 
artists will be able to keep 100% of the profits from their sales. So when artists have their art up in the gallery and they have it listed for price, the artists collect 100% of the profits from those sales. And artists with disabilities are encouraged to apply. It can be physical, cognitive, or psychological impairments. We will oblige requests for accommodations you don't need to be in Philadelphia or in the U.S. to enjoy. How exciting is that? I know we have some folks worldwide that are a part of the Defy Angels. Please, please, I ask you to get involved. It would be fabulous if she had submissions worldwide from some of you. And so here's the location for those of you in Philadelphia. It's the Philly Art Collective, 253 North 3rd Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19106. And isn't this just a beautiful website? It's eye candy, pun intended. Okay, so let's go ahead and go up for a second. And I'm going to go from the bottom up and I'll show you what this is directly going to. So when she gathers all the funds raised from the ticket sales and makes us a complete donation to the foundation based on this ticket sales, our foundation, then we are using 100% of those ticket sales towards these items. And so, oh, it took us to the main page. <laughs> I'll have to fix that. So um, it is if I wish. I'll have to make sure she has that right in that link. Okay, so here we go. So this is our wish list, and you can see that these are things that we actually purchase regularly, and um, and and usually some of these are in bulk. And so the Artalicious canvas, these are twenty four pack. I'm sorry, forty eight packs for thirty eight eighty eight. Um, these mandala dotting toolkits we buy for $17.99. So the prices you see are what we pay for this. We haven't purchased this in a while because it's a luxury for us to share E6000 with the hardest. These are tiny E6000 tubes. There's 60 of them for $69.99. So it's a bucket tube. But look at how cheap these are today. Oh my gosh, I almost want to go order some of these pencil sets. Um, for $3.88. And I don't really want to do the whole thing, but we've got pencils and glue and jewelry tools and bead boards and, and bulk charms and acrylic paint. We just did the acrylic paint for all the hardests in December. But for those who have joined since December, maybe this goes on our wish list if they're able to make a whole boatload of ticket sales. And um, the clay with these Wooden tools to shape the clay is on our wish list too. We've never ordered this yet because this is luxury for us for now. Um, the Bedallion strands are the ones that we recommend and we want to get for the hardest. We've not ordered that yet either. And then these are hole punches right here. And then the book binding kit that we order for $10.99, such a fabulous price for this whole kit. And then we buy scissors by the bulk. You can just assume how many scissors we get, but that's a 15 pack in there, even though it may show more than 15 in that picture, but you get the concept. So 100% of the proceeds will be going to buying these supplies. Now let's go backwards. I wonder why that link should have worked for her. Okay, here we go. We're going backwards. So if you want to submit, where is her submit? Oh, here it is. If you want to submit, I'm going to take you there. Again, it's by the 16th. So get your noodles on. So this is the name that you're submitting it under. And the person who's doing the showcase, her name is Allie Horton. Okay. And it's Artists with Disabilities Showcase. And I love how she capitalized the A in Abilities. Any artist with physical, cognitive, or psychological disabilities, welcome to apply. And then you put your preferred name and any pronouns you wish to be used by, what email they contact you by and your phone number, if you have an Instagram or a website, share with them a headshot, a face, what do you call those face pictures? Um, I don't know, whatever you, your headshot, a picture of you. Then you put a little bio of who you are. And then in the online gallery, if you cut a video describing your art or your ins inspiration, you can cut that and, and put that file here, but it's not required. And make sure that you do keep it under five minutes. 
Now in the on online gallery as well, you can type a statement, whether it's about your art or whatever you want to type your statement about. She seemed to leave that open and then you can choose your pieces. So this is piece one. And this is your title, what medium, what type of art supplies you use to create it, what size your piece is, what year you made it, what price you want to sell it for, and a little description of the piece. That way, the people with visual impairments can hear through your art, right? So they can feel your art by listening to you. And then, then you can submit piece two, piece three, piece four. Yes, I'm scrolling fast. And piece five and piece six. Bam, six pieces. Now, if you need accommodations or notes for the curator, let her know that here. And then fee used to host the show. Um, all ticket sales go to us and all proceeds from the sales go to the hardest. And then they say, pay what you can um, to help host that show. So $20 or more is what you submit there. And then you click on how you submit it and you su submit it that way. And by the way, this form is accessibility enabled, which I didn't know that was possible. So I'm going to go see if we can do that for some of our forms too. That would be fabulous. Um, but with that said, um, hopefully you guys are just as excited as I am. I'm scrolling back to the, the top here. They used job form. That's who it is. And for those of you interested in attending this, it's at artistswithdisabilitiestix.com, and this is where you buy your tickets. So with all of that, I'm excited. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. And I have to tell you, because it's sitting on my desk, let me go to StreamYard for a second, because it's sitting on my desk right here, whether I will ask Christie's permission if we can go ahead and put this into the gallery on behalf of Christy. And then the individual who just won this, I will also ask Yadira if she's okay. So if Christy and Yadira both approve of submitting this into the gallery, I will pay the uh, submission fee. And with all of that, um, I'll, I'll probably get a little bit of help, but I think I know the answers on the flower of life. And, and take that one through the submission. So with that said, hopefully you guys enjoy this journey. It's very exciting. I, I am so excited about, uh, about just the concept of being in partnership with them on this journey. And um, if anyone has any questions, you can ask me, but I would recommend you ask Allie, which you can get a hold of using the link in the description box below. Oh, look at that. Christy's on, I'm looking at the chat now. Um, so Christy says it's fine with her. So I'll go and check. <laughs> so Laura says, I give you the Biddleston's permission. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Well, with that, love and hugs, everyone. Thank you very much for being a part of us growing together. And um, I can't, I just can't tell you how excited I am that uh, they're the ones who even found us. Everyone, give this woman some submissions. Allie is also working through a, a disability herself and doing this showcase is probably something that moves her and shakes her the way that Defy moves me and shakes me. So again, love and hugs, everyone. Take care. Time for dinner.